let's talk about how corrosion is formed, some of the mechanics behind corrosion. First, we're going to talk about a biggie. This one's galvanic corrosion. Here we have a picture. This comes from the FAA, and this shows a steel fastener in a 2024 aluminum alloy sheet, and these are dissimilar metals. One is steel, one is aluminum, and they do not get along. There's an anode and a cathode. The anode gives up uh, particles, and the cathode receives particles. Now, to make all this work, we've also got an electrolyte, and the electrolyte is a liquid, and that liquid is helping us transfer this metal. All these electrons are flowing from the anode to the cathode. And this is galvanic corrosion, dissimilar metals, a energy potential difference. It's like a battery. You've got a positive and a negative. Here's a picture of galvanic corrosion. This is uh, dissimilar metals here, steel fasteners on aluminum. And you can see that uh, there's a buildup. This is the cathode that's receiving particles. Here's galvanic corrosion. This is a steel nut on aluminum, and you can see that the steel has corroded big time. When two dissimilar metals are coupled together in the presence of an electrolyte, galvanic corrosion occurs. Now this is recognized by a pres presence of corrosion deposits where the metals are joined together. A prime example is a brass bolt attached to aluminum panel. We also gave an example here of steel and aluminum.